G'day, g'day everyone, and how's it going? My name is Zayak, and welcome to another Arch Age video. So, if you've just started this game, then you'll have been picking up these things called Gilda Stars, and you're probably wondering what those are for, and why you should keep them. Now, I know that saying fastest is a bit of a stretch, and I'm sure there are probably better ways to get Gilda Stars, but, you know... <laughs> We gotta get people clicking on the videos somehow, right? Anyway, this video again is more for beginners. It's just to get things started. So, as you well know, the main story quest gives you Gilda Stars, but what you might not know as a new player is just how many damn Gilda Stars you get from this. Well, for a new player, it gives you a lot. Basically, every quest you take is going to give you one. Not only is this the fastest way to level when you start a new account, but it's also a great way to get started on your Gilda Farming Simulator. You're basically just going to keep doing these quests all the way until they run out, and they go right into endgame. The only thing that will stop you from completing them all is your level. Another great thing to do along the way is to check your achievements section and complete the ones that are broken up by level. You get crap tons of Gilda this way, and as a side effect, it also teaches you how to play the game a little bit. Although, to be honest, it's pretty shitty as far as tutorials go. Alright, now here's a big one. Once you get to what they call War Zones, which is basically anywhere that PvP can happen, the community centers will now start to have an NPC in them that sells you daily quests for one gold each. These quests are always just kill quests and are super duper stupid easy to complete. I freaking wish that I knew this earlier, dammit. These are definitely something you want to do the moment you arrive at your first Warzone community center. And where that will be is of course dependent on what race you started as. I am a filthy Warhorn, so my first zone was here at Yinister. I think that's how you say it. Just pay your one gold, right click on the quest, and go and kill the shit, and you're good. So by now you've probably been gathering all kinds of builder stars. And they're just sitting in your inventory and you're like, But Zyrak, what do I do with them? It's doing nothing. It's stupid. Why do I have these things? No, Gilda stars are everything. Okay, so you're going to want to find a portal to Mirage Island. Not these ones that I'm pointing to, because I'm an idiot. Mirage Island is the blue one. Okay, so find the portal and slowly get off your mount, like I do here, and enter Mirage Island. This is where the true fun begins. This is everything in Arch Age Unchained. Everything. So, what exactly can you do here? Well... But what it really comes down to is that Gilda Stars cost, uh, well, are the currency for a lot of these designs here. A lot of the end game, a lot of the cool things you saw in some of those clips, they cost Gilda Stars. And it's really going to vary depending on what you are trying to buy. But if you want to get into housing, if you want to get into some of these end game designs, you're going to need to start farming these Gilda Stars as soon as possible. So jump into Mirage Island and just have fun with it and have a look around. There's also a ton of repeatable daily quests that you can take that will award you with Gilda Stars. I'm not going to list every quest it's possible to do right here, but I would recommend that as you play, you make a list or at least take a mental note of where these quests are located. In particular, the last thing I'm going to show here is a quest that can be repeated daily at Hadir Farm. 
This quest involves a mentee, which is someone level 39 and below, to open the chest at the end of the dungeon with a mentor, which is someone who is level 40 and above. Just another super easy, super quick thing that you can do to earn some fast gilder. Well mates, that about wraps this one up. Like I said at the start, I'm sure there are definitely some super hardcore end game ways to farm gilder stars that I'm not mentioning, but I think this is a pretty decent start for beginners. I hope that I've been helpful to at least one person out there, and if I have, please help a mate out and subscribe to the channel to keep me going. Right lads, I'll catch you next time and have a cracker of a day.